wants to find me. Something has been off. Something has been very off. <sighs> Every day I wake up. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, sorry, anyways. I've just been waking up, getting ready, doing my hair, looking in the mirror, and something is just off, something's wrong. I'm like, am I ugly? But then I'm like, no, it's my hair. I need a haircut. I am a chronically late haircut getter. I probably get my hair cut like every six months on a good year. On a good year when I'm really on top of things, every six months. And so it's been, um, February, February March, April. Six months! That's why I keep waking up and feeling like a troll who just crawled out of a tunnel underneath of a bridge filled with dirty rainwater and old trash. I never get a calm, casual haircut. I wait so long that it's always a drastic, dramatic haircut because either my hair is so dead, like when I used to have really long hair, I would let it grow forever and the ends would be so dead that every time I get a haircut, it's like at least four inches. So it's always an ordeal. I've never just had a casual little snip snip. All I want is a casual snip snip, but has it been too long for it to be a snip snip? Because I'm trying to grow it out again. You see, there's just, just so much going on. I got to thinking, maybe I should just get a really dramatic haircut. If I were feeling a little bit like maybe 2% crazier, what I really want to do is cut it like where the shortest layer is. That way it's going to all grow out even dye a blonde fully blonde like a blonde bob moment oh my gosh i would love that i think i would eat that up but it's just not realistic and in a dream world if i were a sim i'd have a blonde bob right now but we can't do that we can't do that um so i'm actually not too sure what i'm gonna go in and ask for what picture am i gonna show i don't really know because i also don't know if i have an accurate gauge of how long my hair is right now because i think the pictures that i've saved like this is not what my hair looks like i think the picture i'm gonna show her Ugh, but do i really want that i think i'm gonna show her that and i think that that's about how long my hair is but i don't want it any shorter and i think this is gonna solve some of my daily challenges and fix this off feeling the place where i get my haircut is over in my old neighborhood so it's 11 o'clock now my haircut's not till 1 30. i don't really like to be outside in the afternoon hours between 2 and 4. something is just weird outside i don't like the way the sun is angled down at the earth it's like right overhead but i'm like if i'm gonna be over there and i'm gonna be moving in a few weeks I feel like there's a couple of things I could do that are reminiscent of my past activities there. I'm specifically thinking of this Korean corn dog place, which is not that special, but I just used to be so obsessed with it. And I would go get my little corn dog or cheese stick. I, I can't even remember what I would get. I can't remember if I got meat in it or if it was just a fried cheese. And I don't even know if my stomach can handle fried cheese anymore. Every year I become more and more lactose intolerant, which is very strange. But I think I can sacrifice today for the cheese stick. My hair has been cut. She cut it and then, you know, you just get your brief little look in the mirror before they kick you back out onto the street to go home. Normally, when I get my hair cut and I'm not in the city, I go to my car and then I stare myself in the mirror for 30 million minutes until I decide if I like it or not. But when I get my hair cut here, I have to take the train home and all of the strangers on the street get to see my hair before I do. And I don't know. I'm like, what if it looks terrible? Okay, it's cute. I was gonna go to the, the cheese fried cheese place, right? I get off the train, I'm walking, I'm walking. I haven't been in a while, but like I know where it was. And it was gone. It was closed. I have this thing in my head, like I've just, I don't really actually know where this idea started. I've always pictured myself coming back when I'm older, revisiting the places I used to live and it not looking the same and everything being gone. And I've always thought that it would be weird when I see older people walking around and they're clearly like from the area. I'm always like, what is it like for the area to be unrecognizable basically? The fried cheese place sent me into an emotional spiral because I was like, oh my god, this is the first time that it's happening to me. My fried cheese place has been decimated. Then I was just walking around and I was reflecting on my time in that neighborhood. Just so many things are coming to a close all at once. Coming up this week, we have senior week, doing a whole bunch of like New York stuff like a Yankees game, a Broadway show. Now I'm like, I might not ever live here again. What a weird feeling that is. Then I was thinking of that quote where it's like, you'll, you can never swim in the same river twice. Or, 
Wait, okay, let me think. A man can never swim in the same river twice because he's not the same man and it's not the same river. And that's how I felt. <laughs> All of this inspired by the closed fried cheese place. So anyways, haircut, success. Okay, get ready with me. Last night we went to the Yankees game. Not really a big Yankees fan naturally, but the tickets were free. So I'm a fan of anything free. What does, what do you wear? What does one wear to a Broadway show? Can I wear jeans? Um. Okay, I need to look this up actually because this is gonna change how I do my makeup, my hair, everything. Let's Google what does one wear to a Broadway show. Touristy or casual clothing? How would you describe touristy clothing? It's typically suitable for a Broadway show. It's recommended to dress in smart, casual to semi-formal attire. But then another one says, you can wear whatever you are comfortable in to a Broadway show. Let's go to Reddit. I trust Reddit more than anything. People just kind of wear whatever to Broadway shows. You'll see a lot of casual jeans, t-shirts, etc. Okay. Jeans and a sweater, jeans, 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 okay. Okay, so it's just getting jeans. I'm gonna wear some red boots and some dark wash jeans. I'm gonna do my hair, I think half up, half down because it's already, well, honestly, I don't know if I wanna re-straighten it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling like re-straightening it. I actually wanna get ready as quickly as possible. Am I running late? Okay, I have to leave at 5.50, it's 4.15. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, ow, okay, I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. No one wants to be around me when I'm doing my hair. It's just scary. Everyone's scared. I get really mean. I actually, I don't want you to see me in this state. So I'm gonna come back when my hair is done and then we can do my makeup together. Hair's done and I didn't bite, scratch, or kill anybody. Oh my God, wait, do I hate it though? Do I hate it? Fuck, do I hate it? Oh my God, wait. No, this looks so stupid. It's like right, no. Wait. No, I hate it. Am I just being dramatic? Am I being dramatic? Okay, I'm gonna do my- Oh my god. Who? I'm- hmm. Maybe I spoke too soon. I'm gonna do my makeup, and if I still hate it, then we can reconvene, and I'll figure something else out. Anyways, deep breaths. Deep breaths. So yes, going to see The Great Gatsby. This is my first Broadway show. These little events are kind of making me realize, like, oh shit. I'm really graduating. It's really ending. I'm- maybe starting to feel a little bit freaked out before now it's just been oh haha yeah graduating graduating so silly but these little senior events have been like oh fuck oh oh i'm graduating so that's making me freak out a little bit time is flying time what's going on probably gonna really cry very hard at some point i'm not really sure exactly when that's gonna hit but i definitely feel it like boiling up underneath the surface i feel like huge cry actually. Every ending deserves a good cry, you know what I mean? This has been quite the chapter. I can't believe that four years has passed since I started college. Like I can't believe that I've done enough work. I feel so lucky and blessed to have been able to go to college and complete college for all the experiences that I've been able to have. The opportunity to live in New York has been life-changing so it feels very bittersweet for it to be ending and also to not really know what's next. That is equally as scary but I'm really trying not to focus too much on that because it's just like me freaking out about uncertainty is not gonna make the answer pop into the air you know all i can do is just sit back make sure i'm in the best space possible to receive whatever it is that wants to find me is that how i feel all the time no sometimes i feel like screaming and crying because i don't really know what's going on but it's okay Things will figure themselves out in time. Nothing that is meant for me will pass me by. That is what I repeat to myself, to calm myself down. I don't hate my hair. It was just my makeup, so crisis averted. Mm. And your brush my teeth. This top, long sleeve, lace. Then these jeans are BDG. Silver belt, I think is also Urban Outfitters. This I thrifted off of Vinted when I was living in Spain. So I'm not sure where it's from. Or shoes. These red boots. The heel is not too crazy. This has been my everyday bag. It's so cute. The little cinching ties down the side. Like what? What? Okay, let's go. Great Gatsby.